I'm going to perform a straight catheterization on a male patient. I've already knocked on the door, introduced myself, washing my hands, providing for privacy. I'm going to identify my patient. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? And do you have any allergies? Now specifically to latex or iodine. All right, I am verifying that I have an order for the straight catheterization for this patient. I'm going to put my clean gloves on. And pull the blankets all the way to the foot of the bed. Telling my patient what I'm doing each step of the way. I'm going to expose my patient. And if they are soiled underneath them, I would go ahead and clean them up before setting up my sterile field. We'll just frog leg their legs out just a little bit so I have enough room in here. He looks clean, so I'll go ahead and take my clean gloves off. Wash my hands if I have access to hand sanitizer and get my sterile field ready. I'm going to use this as a trash bag. Some of them don't come wrapped up like this, so you'd have to use an actual trash can. Set that right here. Opening away from me first then to the sides, making sure it doesn't come back. And then toward me. The outside one inch is not sterile, so that's what I can use to adjust it if I need to. I'm going to grab my drape. and place that right under him. If it's bunched up, it's fine. We can fix it once we have our sterile gloves on. Take the sterile gloves out of here. Making sure not to overlap on that sterile field. Stepping back and grabbing just the inside of that first cuff and then we'll go under the cuff. Flying that thumb away. Got my sterile gloves on. I can go ahead and straighten this out, touching the sterile part. and I will get the rest of my field ready. I have the fenestrated drape, which I can use because this is a male patient. I do not need a sample, so I can leave that over here. I'm going to open my lubricant and put my catheter right in there. And then I'll open my swabs, pulling them out and loosening them so that they're easy to grab with one hand. And we are ready to move over to the bed. Because this was in a sterile drape, the entire thing is sterile, so I can grab it however I want to. If I had a catheter kit that just has the pull open top, you have to make sure that you're grabbing it just from the inside where it's sterile. I'm going to move this right here. I'll then grab the penis with my non-dominant hand, pulling back the foreskin, clean, starting in the center, going around 
and down and throw that in the trash, making sure not to go over my sterile field and center around and down again. center, around, and down. I'm going to throw the trash in here as I'm going. You don't want to leave any trash in your bin because that is what will collect the urine. So I will grab my catheter out of the lubricant and throw that lubricant into the trash as well. And making sure the end of this catheter is in the bin I'm going to tell my patient to take a deep breath and we'll insert. And just keep going until you see urine. There's no need to continue after that because there's no balloon. You just have to hold it when you see the urine. We'll hold it there, wait until they empty their bladder. Sometimes I like to push on their bladder a little bit, have them adjust their location to make sure that it's fully emptied. Once you're done, I'll just go ahead and pull that out and place it on the side. This will be full of urine, so be careful not to spill it. And then you can clean your patient up, document your procedure, take your gloves off and wash your hands. Make sure to put the patient's bed all the way back down.